Hello everyone and welcome to Joe and I's new home. So let me take you around our new apartment. I'm so excited to be in here. It is currently empty, but we are moving in tomorrow. I thought it would be fun to just show you the space and its potential and then eventually I will do um, various room tours once we feel like we've really gotten everything the way we want. Um, but even to the features of the apartment as it is now we've asked the landlord to fix a few things so it will take a while have some patience um, with seeing the full tour once it's decorated and furnished but right now you can see it empty and let me get in behind the camera so you can have a better view so here's the front door once you come in um, the apartment is in downtown Vancouver and it's 1300 square feet which is such a luxury here typically new apartments are very very small one of the things that I immediately liked when I walked in is this enormous pantry space. It just has so much organization potential that's not even being fully used right now, so I'm excited to work on that. And then over there, there's a linen closet and a huge coat closet as well, which is great because I do have quite a few coats to my name. Oh, that is the sound of the oven preheating. I am currently making some lasagna here that I froze at home um, just so we could have a cozy romantic dinner in our new place. I'm so excited. So here, this is one of the features that um, I briefly mentioned would be replaced by the landlord. So it's really horrible in 90s and plastic and it's kind of falling apart. So we asked him to find a solution and put a door in. And then here is the main room. So first of all, we have the kitchen on the right hand side once we walk in got the oven going there and I love how it has a full-size fridge so none of, the, none of the appliances are super new at all but um, the nice thing is that they're all full-sized and if you cook a lot that is a wonderful thing especially when making things like Thanksgiving dinner so over here there's a long wall as you enter and you can see the whole place has been painted a pale gray which I really really like. The lighting's not fabulous right now though because this is literally the last few minutes of daylight. So here's a view at the kitchen from the main area. This is going to be our dining area right here and we're going to do a bar card type space over here. Then there's a fireplace which is the other thing that they need to get fixed but it's really aesthetically nice. I really like things that are very classic like that so it was a feature that really drew me to this space and then the main centerpiece of course I know a lot of youtubers don't show their views but how could I possibly explain to you why I like this apartment without showing you the view it's just so stunning it's unbeatable it's a million dollar view other condos that have been renovated in this building go for around 1.5 million dollars Canadian which is insane but that is what our property prices are like and it is a fabulous view and then over here this is going to be Nouvelle Pro headquarters for my jewelry business. It's a wonderful office space. You could also use it for dining. You can see it has the same floor to ceiling windows as the main living room and it's just wrap around and it's got that stunning beautiful view of the water as you can see. And there's a big wall back there. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do there. I might put in some shelves or something like that because I think it would make a really nice background for filming with lots of natural light coming in, which is my favorite to film with. And then just looking back, you can see how open it feels. So it's wonderful for our relationship, I think, because I can be working on my business over here and still feel like I'm just a part of things in the general atmosphere of the apartment. And the fireplace is double-sided as well, which I think is another nice feature. And then over here we have a door to the patio, which was one of the big selling points. Oh, it's locked. For Joe. There we go. So I know this was one of the big selling points for Joe. I'm just going to pad out here my bare feet. So I probably won't be out here too long. But just such a stunning view. Wrap around really nice and wide. Big enough to put out some chairs. I just look forward to making this space as cozy as possible so that we can enjoy it for most of the year. So just having a glass of wine outside on that patio. Once our weather improves as well, today is a miserable, horrible rainy day. Um, but it feels cozy in here already. I think just the kind of really classic bones of this place make it feel really cozy. I really like the blonde hardwood floor. It's a really nice quality. Um, just 
seeing this apartment reminded me that things that are older are sometimes not perfect, but often well made. So we're now back at the entrance, and if you turn right once you get into the entrance, this is one of the really homey features of this apartment, I think. It just feels like a house when you walk down here. There's a long corridor, and you have the first guest bathroom, and it is a little bit dated. I would say that's, if there's anything that made me hesitate about the space, this would be it. But how much time do you really spend in the bathroom anyway? A lot of it can be spruced up through decor, and it's just very classic. A little bit dated, but classic. So that's the first bathroom. And then if you walk down, then there's two bedrooms. So this is a two bedroom apartment. And again, one of the things that made me really want to live here is how spacious the second bedroom is. There's so much that could be done decor wise with this space. It's very bright during the day. We're just kind of losing daylight now. And it's got this wonderful corner window through which you can see the same view that you had on the patio. And what I'm going to do decor wise is have my vanity against the window and then my couch against the wall because that's actually a pull-out couch so if we have guests then they should be um, hopefully really comfortable there and there's a second closet there as well with glass which is actually quite nice because then it reflects the light um, it's a bit of a funny shaped room but very spacious so i'll have to really have a think as to what i want to do with it to really accessorize it and make it look polished and then if you keep going then there's the master bedroom so you can see it's got a wonderful window as well which looks out over the patio and it's got the second door as well to the patio so you can see a pretty good view of it actually this way and there's a larger closet in this room so you have a nice big mirror there very typical of older apartments to have these kind of mirrored doors on closets but i really like how spacious it is on the inside if you have a lot of clothes like i do it's something you appreciate and definitely something i began to appreciate more as i saw a lot of newer apartments one of the apartments we saw was a penthouse and it had a closet that was about a third of this size for two people um so over here we have a new bed that we've purchased which will go in there and and we're expecting delivery of that bed on Saturday. So tomorrow night, we will be spending our first night here on a mattress on the floor, but I'm actually really, really looking forward to that. And just to getting settled here, it just feels like I've been waiting for so long to do that because I've known for about seven weeks that we would be moving in here. So I'm kind of almost re-familiarizing myself with this space as well. And then this will probably be my bathroom. So very similar to the other bathroom, but it's been painted pale gray at my request. Um, because this is the one that I'll be using for the most part and it was also a very strange and hideous red color beforehand so I really just wanted to um, make sure that it would be neutral to make it feel a little bit more modern. I'm just going to walk through one more time so you can see the layout. So behind me is the master bedroom. On my right hand side is the second bedroom. Then I walk down the hall and there's the first bathroom that's blinding you right now. And then I'm back at the entrance with the coat closet, pantry, and washer dryer here. I don't know if I mentioned that that's what's behind the plasticky door. I to cook so many delicious things there to the point where my girlfriends already have a chicken and waffles brunch in their calendar for four weeks from now, which is kind of when I plan to hopefully have most of the furniture pieces that we haven't bought yet. Um, here in the apartment and kind of placed um, as we want. Um, one of the things we're missing as well is some dining chairs, so I'll be shopping for those over the next few weeks. I think I'll just leave you with this beautiful view in the background, which I'm really excited to share with you and share with Joe in our new home. And if you're wondering where he is, he's currently being shown around the basement by the landlord, who's really nice. So um, we have a big storage locker as well that he's discovering, which he hasn't seen before. And so thank you so much for coming on this tour with me. I'm really excited to share this space with you. And I will see you in my next video, which will be a vlog of this entire moving process, as well as some exciting things that have happened this week, including my speech at the Her Campus event and just lots of good things. So if you wanna see a more extended version of this, rather than just a specific look at the space, then make sure to subscribe